Sky Squad, it is Nicole Skies, and welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of the Sky Squad. I am finally back in California. I am not in Massachusetts anymore, so it feels so good to be back here. And my background looks a little bit different as well. I'm in the process of rearranging it and deciding how I want it to be. So on July 7th, I made the Instagram post about how I wanted to do the DIY Hot Cheeto. Now, I was on the road. I couldn't make anything. I didn't have a deep fryer, so I had to wait, unfortunately, until I got back to my apartment. And by the time I waited, there had already been a couple of videos making what I originally planned to make. Oh, so sad. Anyways, I'm still gonna make it, of course. So also, you guys, when we were driving across country, we found a baby bird. So right now, I'm a bird mom, and I'm raising a baby bird. When I found it, it was like five days old. Now it's like 10 days old. So subscribe to my vlog channel. I'll have the link right here and in the description down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you will never make this DIY. <laughs> and not only did I make a DIY giant mac and Cheeto, I made mini mac and Cheetos as well. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I don't know how to cook, so this is gonna be an adventure. I also got the recipe from a channel called Healthy Junk Food, and this channel actually is pretty interesting. Um, I'll leave his link down below in my description box. And also, this is my first time ever using a deep fryer, and it was really scary. So let's get on to the DIY. So to save time for me because I am lazy, if you have not seen my other tutorials, you might know that by now. I bought some macaroni and cheese that has already been cooked and made and blended. But if you want to make your own macaroni and cheese, go ahead, feel free to do that. I can't cook. End of story. The good thing about this is after you make your macaroni and cheese, if you're going to make it by hand or by scratch, you want to put it in the freezer so it's cold, that way it's moldable. So. Thankfully, this is already cooked and this is already cold. I just like skipped two steps, bro. Yeah. Plus, I'm pretty sure Burger King does not make their own macaroni either. They probably get it pre-made. Okay, so this may or may not have always been a dream of mine, but now I'm about to put my hands in the macaroni. Obviously, my hands are washed and sanitized and clean, okay? Oh. Macaroni noodle hands. Okay, I'm done. That feels absolutely disgusting. Ew. So what I'm going to do is try to get all the macaroni out of the container. Why did I get white macaroni? Oh my god. Okay, so ooh, this is going to be one giant mac and cheeto, you guys. Oh, I am so excited. All right, so there is our mac and Cheeto. And now we need to coat it with, ew! That is so gross. Hold on, I'm gonna wash my hands first. So I bought some Cheeto puffs right here and I bought this cool like little like, boom, boom, boom. What we need to do is crush all the Cheeto puffs. I'm only gonna do one bag first and then if I need to do the second bag, I have that option or I can just stuff my face with it. So this might be really gross, but I don't have any like clear like cooking bags, so I'm gonna use this Target bag. Hey! And I'm going to pour all of the puffs into the bag. Now that we have a bag full of Cheetos, and now get all of your frustration out on these Cheetos. Why? Oh shoot. Okay, I'm already making a hole in the bag. That was not supposed to happen. You have to gently do it. Or if you're like me, you can do it the fun and fast way. Let's go. What are you doing? Ew. Nothing? So now that your Cheetos are all smashed up, we are going to use some flour. Now I didn't mean use flour, I meant like we are going to need flour. So here's our flour. We need to get this all ready. And now we're gonna get our eggs. 
Now, I'm not a person who normally uses eggs or eats eggs. I really don't like to eat eggs, to be honest. Um, but when I do have to buy eggs, like this, for the egg wash, we need eggs. I try to get free-range eggs. That means that the chickens are free to roam outdoors. I'm hoping that that's true because I would prefer the chickens to be free. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to need one egg. Now, if you guys know any alternatives I can use to coat and deep fry something besides an egg, please let me know in the comments down below. So I was just thinking, I think I'm gonna need three eggs instead of one because my thing's giant and if I use like the original recipe, it's not gonna work out. So three eggs. And you're supposed to use cream, but I don't like cream. I don't like dairy at all. I don't drink dairy, don't like it. I like almond milk. Almond milk is so good. So I'm gonna use almond milk as a substitute. Boom. Welcome to the inside of my big ass pan. So I'm going to um, crack the eggs. I've never done this before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like winging it. No idea whatsoever. I don't cook. So right now, I really wish I had a pan, but I threw away my pan. When my pan gets all burnt and crusty, I just throw it away. So I'm going to make some walls. You'll see why I'm building these castle walls. These castle walls are going to save me a lot of time. All right, so since basically everything that I have is not um, big enough to fit this giant macchiato, like this plate and stuff, I'm just gonna like pour it on and pack it on and I think it's gonna work. Okay, so what I'm going to do to make the beautiful crusty coating is add my flour first. Now since this is too big to roll in the flour, I'm just gonna have to add it on and sprinkle it. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over. How am I gonna lift this up? Okay, uh, now we wanna pour our egg wash onto it. Okay, it's not sticking. It's not sticking at all. Stick, how is that supposed to work? Oh my god, I don't know how to deep fry things. Uh -huh. Genius! Genius Nicole! You're a genius! Thank you! Abracadabra. Pew. Whoa. Magic. Mac and Cheeto, you will survive. Okay, we gotta get it out of this now. Get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. Quick, 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 quick! Okay, now the super fun part. Let's dust it with our Cheetos. Okay, let's see if we can flip this baby without having any difficulties. Every time I literally touch this thing, I have to wash my hands because my hands get so slimy. So now it says to put this thing in the freezer. So I'm gonna put it in the freezer and let it freeze up before I deep fry the little guy. So it is the next day and I guess I should have not put this in the freezer for as long. So I'm going to de-thaw this in the microwave because I read online that it's really bad to deep fry something that's frozen, so microwave to thaw it out and then we're gonna deep fry it. Hopefully it works. So I watched a couple tutorials online, that way I don't burn myself to death with like an oil fire or something. So I got some vegetable oil and I'm gonna pour it in halfway, I guess oil um, expands when it's hot. So we don't want to pour too much in. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. So I put on long sleeves and I'm going to be wearing a hood. That way my hair doesn't catch on fire. And if oil spill like comes up and like bats me up, I'm not going to get burned. Maybe I should wear gloves too. I've never deep fried before guys. Okay, I'm nervous. We are having problems here, we are having problems. Mayday. Oh my god. Something's happening bad. What do I do? What? It's falling apart. So since it's falling apart, I'm gonna try and cut it in half and just do one side and one side because it's too big, it's too big for my fryer. So I cut it in half and I added a little bit more oil. So hopefully this does the job. So since my giant one didn't work out as much as I wanted it to, I'm going to make minis. So I have hot Cheetos and I have queso, con queso or something like that. I'm gonna make little minis.
So yeah, that is how you make a DIY giant mac and cheeto. Now, since mine was so big, mine didn't fit in my deep fryer, so I had to cut it in half, unfortunately. But regardless, I think it still looks pretty good. Like, it could look worse than that. I mean, at least it, it worked, right? And then my minis came out so cute. These little minis are so cute. They look like little tater tots. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try them. So here's my giant mac and cheeto, and honestly, it's dripping oil all over my hands. This feels disgusting. I really don't even want to try this one because it's so, like, oily. But we're gonna try it. Look at my hands. Oh, I don't even want to know how many calories are in one of these. Diabetes Central, right here. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't taste bad, but it's extremely oily, and that kind of just like makes me not want to eat it. So I'm gonna go wash my oily ass hands and try the little the little guys. I think the little guys are gonna taste better. So here are my little guys. I did the hot Cheeto and I did the con queso something something. Let's give it a go. That is more like it. And because I use the con queso like powder, it makes it taste extra cheesy. Okay, now let's try the hot Cheeto one. That's pretty good too. Not as good as the con queso. And you cannot taste the hot spiciness at all whatsoever. No flaming hot on these. Even though they're covered in flaming hot, they're not spicy. That sucks. I love the spicy ones. So overall, these are actually like, to be honest, they're way too oily for me to eat. I don't like to eat oily stuff. I probably won't ever make these again in the future. And they're probably jam-packed with hella calories. So I don't want that. But they were super fun to make. It was a super fun adventure doing the deep fryer. I've never did that before. I was super afraid. I thought I was going to fry myself up. Thank God I didn't. So a little update. I had Jay try them and he says that he loves them. So I have to bring him some more right now. So Jay loves them. He's eating them all. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Also comment down below what your favorite type of Cheeto is. I love you guys so much and stay tuned for the next DIY. Actually, my next video is going to be how many? How many? It's going to be an episode of how many? My second episode, so stay tuned for that. Shit. We are having problems here. We are having problems. Mayday. Oh my god. Something's happening bad. What do I do? What? It's falling apart.